Police have searched all over Middletown, sometimes with cadaver dogs. Sightings in other cities proved false. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us why detectives now say this may move beyond missing to murder. Lindsay Bogan as a little girl. She loved Barbie dolls, of course, and wanted to be a nurse like her grandmother. She graduated from high school and went to nursing school for a while. So how did it come to this? Lindsay Bogan's dream given up for heroin. Lindsay Bogan, a homeless prostitute in Middletown, now missing a month. I knew she would have called if she could have, but um, she never went that long without calling me and letting me know what she's doing. And We're showing her mugshot. Uh -huh. It's the most recent uh, shot that we have of her. That's, more, that's the most accurate. There have been many searches of the empty buildings here in Middletown, graveyards, parks, such as here along the Great Miami River. And police take sightings in other cities seriously. None have been valid. Lindsay's boyfriend, who admits he was her pimp, is now in jail for promoting prostitution. Eric Sexton said the last time he saw Lindsay, she got into a Dodge Durango at Central Avenue in Baltimore. Then he changed that story and said Lindsay was kidnapped at gunpoint. He has uh, changed the story many times. He's uh, misled us. Detectives are beginning to look at this case in a whole different way. We've talked about the idea of moving this from a uh, missing person investigation to a potential homicide investigation. Police did verify Eric and Lindsay stayed here shortly before she disappeared. The so-called sleeping rooms in Middletown or bedrooms for rent. Detectives got a tip that something might have happened to Lindsay and she could have ended up in these dumpsters across the street from where she and Eric spent the night. So now Rumpke's been put on alert that her body could be at a dump site. Opal Bogan has a bad feeling about her granddaughter. I really don't think I'll see her alive again. I miss her a lot. She had a lot of dreams and hopes that didn't come to pass. Opal Bogan talks about Lindsay in the past tense, but she doesn't want to give up yet. She doesn't want to forget that little girl, the one who loved Barbies and wanted to be a nurse. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. There is a $2,000 reward for information about what may have happened to Lindsay Bogan. The Wheel of Justice reward money is paid out through Crime Stoppers, so if you know anything, you're asked to call 352-3040. Callers are identified by code numbers so tipsters cannot be identified.